the Dow lower over the past four consecutive trading days and down more than 2.8% year to date. Is it time for investors to look beyond stocks and other asset classes, especially with all the news flow? You know, the breaking news today about Crimea and the referendum vote on Sunday. We've got so much global activity that's frightening some investors. Gold is up. 14% year to date. One money manager says now is the moment to get in on this precious metal and commodities in general. But there's a twist to this. Keith McCullough, Hedgeye Risk Management founder and CEO, is unraveling the mystery. And it starts, Keith, with the U.S. dollar. Right now, there's a headline coming out of the CFTC that the long bets on the dollar are lightening up big time. Not a lot of believers out there in the greenback. Why? Well, I think it's, it follows the path of least resistance, which is the economic data. So the data continues to deteriorate on the margin. This morning's University of Michigan confidence number was a 79 and change. So again, American confidence is falling alongside the dollar. You've seen this in the 1970s. You've seen it with Bush and Obama, primarily because you have really both a fiscal and monetary policy to devalue That's the really dollar. That's really bad so for the dollar. It's really good for gold. It's really good for commodities. But again, you get inflation when that happens, and inflation in kind of like a, in a virtuous cycle is slowing growth on top of that again and again and again. And in a way, that bet leads to your commodities belief, and that is that, that maybe you lighten up on equities and you go into commodities. You were specifically mentioning gold, but why gold and what else? Well, I mean, gold absolutely loves what I just said. It loves what is called stagflation. So in other words, the dollar goes down, inflation goes up, and growth starts to slow. So that is really what gave gold a 12-year bull market. It went up for 12 consecutive years for that. And what it really interrupted that last year and why we were bearish on gold last year was interest rates and the dollar rising. So again, we basically just flipped our call upside down. And if you kind of keep playing that through, it finds its way into food inflation. It finds its way into wage and rent inflation. And that's what this country is going to have, a double in CPI this year, which is not what we had last year. Okay, so if there's a long short bet, would it be long gold short the dollar, long metals short the dollar? You tell me what you'd like to see here. And what yeah. would make investors money? Well, I like going to the Canadian hockey plan, so I go with the gold first, <laughs> and uh, and then I get into the precious stuff. I'm fine with you know I'm fine with the silver metal too for Sweden. But look, the reality is, so you know any kind of precious metal, much more so than an industrial metal like copper, or if you look at the food complex, it's absolutely ripping, Liz. I mean, the, the price of coffee is up 75% for the year to date. Not that anyone drinks coffee, but the reality <laughs> is that all this stuff that you actually consume is going straight up. Well, yeah, I mean, the Arabica has been definitely jumping, but some of the other soft commodities haven't done as well. Let's move on, though, because it's not like you hate all equities. You do have three no. picks today, right? Yeah. I mean, if you, price, I mean, you like Owens Corning, gold, of course. Would you like the miners, at least? Yeah, yeah, miners are, I'm less excited. I like to go straight for the juice, which is obviously in gold and silver.